David Hill here, happy to be here with you. Dennis McHouston, principal here at Orange High School. And uh, I know we've run back. I've seen you run around back and forth at the games and on campus from time to time. I know getting a hold of the principal is tough. You're running all over the place. But you've got an exciting situation coming up tomorrow night with this Orange High Panther football team playing for Division 13 CIF Southern Section Championship. You've got to be excited about that. Talk to me about this campus community and what it's feeling and what the buzz is like right here on campus. Yeah, yeah this is a, an exciting moment for, for us and our community. Um, beyond the campus, you know, the city of Orange and the community really rallies around, around our school in general and in particular, you know, football and all athletics. I think people are excited to see some success here at Orange High School. Um, the buzz around campus is tremendous. I've always, you know, I, I was a head baseball coach here myself. However, I've always felt that, you know, football and the fall sports really starts your momentum for the school year with as far as school spirit. And um, our kids are excited. You know, they, I think they're realizing that being a part of this is, is not everybody, you know, not every school gets to experience this. And we're, we're, we're fortunate. Yeah, I, and I agree with you. I got a chance to talk with your athletic director, Alicia. And uh, I've sat in her chair before. I've been in that chair before. I've been in Coach Bedros' chair as well. I've never sat in the principal's chair, and I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> and, and I do get that. So I asked her the same question. How significant is football? Not that it's the most important, but how significant is it that football is out the door and out the gate with this kind of success? Does it permeate into other programs around the campus? Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, most importantly, it, it starts the tone for all sports. All, all of our programs, our kids deserve the very best from every program, from our band to music to art to curriculum instruction. And, and this has really kind of been the lead off to, to a great 17, 18 school year. And, 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 you know, kids are excited. You know, I've had kids ask me, you know, hey, Mr. McHouston, you know, that we're doing so well, how do you think, what do you think is going to happen with soccer this year? Or, or how do you think this is going to go this year? You know, are our test scores going to continue to go up? All those things. And I go, you know what? We got great momentum going. Our kids are excited. And, and this is a, a great kickoff to the year. So absolutely, yeah. And your role, obviously, as principal is to oversee all of this activity and the success of all programs, uh, both for students and teachers and all of that. You've got a big role here to play. Um, it, talk to me about how that is permeating with the entire campus, um, uh, uh, students interacting with one another um, uh, and the attitudes. You talked about that a little bit. What's that like for the teachers, the, the parents, the, 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 and, and all incorporated? Now, one of the things that I, uh, I mentioned this to you earlier I'm most proud of is, is the way our student body and people interact with one another. Right? We, have an ex we have an extremely positive culture here at Orange High School. Um, w there's no there's no you know division there's no color lines there's no cool kids and not cool kids you know we have uh, we have tremendous programs on this campus and and what makes it work are the teachers and the students and and the fact that 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 everybody is a champion for one another everybody wants to see each other be successful everybody gets along with one another you, you go out to our lunch you don't see clicks you don't see you know um, you know, only the football players here. Yeah, and the preva prevailing assumption a lot of times in public settings, public school settings, is that everybody's got their own little piece yeah. in their own little space. That's not true here. No, absolutely. I mean, we got a hand-to-hand -hand club that is about 200 members of, of, of normal, able-bodied students that are there to try to lend a, a, a helping hand to include students with disabilities to be a part of the culture. They go to games. They become cheerleaders. Um, you know, just to include them in the overall high school experience. Our kids, that's one of our most popular clubs on campus. And you walk in the quad and you'll see everybody interacting with other and one another. And, and, and a lot of people that have experienced other schools, they come here and they go, wow, this, this is amazing to see how these kids, these young men and women, and, and, and see them interact with one another and, and champion one another. And, and basically my role is to support the heck out of them. Okay you know, um, have high expectations for all programs and get out of their way, <laughs> to be honest with you. You know, let the people that, that do their job, let them do it well, support them, um, and, and give them the tools that they need to do their job. And, and, 
And to me, that's that's kind of what I'm doing right now with with our football program. And and I'm an intense person. I I, I, um, I wear my heart on my sleeve a little bit, and uh, I have a lot of pride in the school. I've, I've been here since 1995. I started as a security guard here. Oh, you got to be kidding yeah. me! Wow, yeah. that's amazing. And so I, I pretty much grew up at Orange High School. I didn't go to Orange High. Um, however, uh, I mean, I have a lot invested here, and and uh, and it's just to see the success is, you know, makes my heart swell and uh, and have a lot of pride so i can see it in your eyes and i'm looking at you and i know the folks that see you and all the folks that see us here at hspn sports across the world by the way we've got a worldwide audience which is awesome to hear uh you're going to see that there's a school in japan kubasaki high school that's a u.s based high school that's on a u.s uh army base and so they'll they'll see this and and know that they're trying to do some of the same things and that enthusiasm is quite clear i can see it in your eyes i'm looking behind you over your head and, and seeing some of the old paraphernalia uh, you mentioned that you started here in 1995. Uh, I imagine you weren't here in 1929 <laughs> when they won their last. I wasn't either. Um, when they won their last championship. Now, you were in a championship game in 2005. But this would be perhaps the first championship win since 1929. I wanted to look up some facts in 1929, what was going on, how much was gas, how much was bread. You know, it's just ridiculous to look at. But it was a depression era. We do know that. Um, I'm sure there won't be a lot of depression come Saturday night with the enthusiasm that's going on. Let me ask you this question. Are you getting a lot of folks that, this is an old high school. It's been around for 100 plus 114 years? 114 years. 114 years. Are you getting a lot of people that are coming back wanting to be a part of this or excited about what's happening or what's going to happen Saturday night? Yeah, I've all of a sudden become very popular <laughs> um, you know, with phone calls, alumni. Um, in 2005, uh, I wasn't coaching football at the time but uh, I was I think I was a, a coach on campus and, and and very close to the program um, and so a lot of those kids I knew um, and, and and some of those kids you know played multiple sports and things like that so we're getting a lot of phone calls we're getting a lot of excitement we've done pre-sale tickets and and there's people walking through the door from you know from anywhere in in the, the 80s 90s 2000 graduates and um, yeah it, it, it's it's exciting to see that um, I, I think we're gonna have a, a good turn out on Saturday night, absolutely. No question about it. And here's the, here's the question I'm dying to ask, <laughs> okay, and whether you can answer this or not, I don't know, but uh, everybody wants to know, if when the game Saturday night, are you going to declare a national holiday? Do you have the power to? <laughs> <laughs> you can't declare a national holiday? What about power. a state holiday? I don't have that kind of power. Are they going to be in school on Monday? <laughs> I'm so. going to put that question yeah, to them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I hope so. they got to show, they gotta right. show up to school on Monday. Right. You hear that? Uh, yeah, listen, you guys got to come to school on Monday. Nobody's declared any national holiday, right. school holiday, or what have you. But uh, it is exciting, and I'm so happy to spend this time with you. Dennis McHouston, principal at Orange High School. A lot of good things happening here. A lot of folks excited. Uh, we're excited to bring that sideline coverage to you. We've had a good time with this. I think it's our fourth game covering Orange High School, so it's been a journey with us as well, too. And so uh, we'll see you Saturday night, Fred Kelly Stadium, 7 o'clock versus Silver Valley High School for the Division 13 CIF Southern Section Football Championships. David Hill with HSPN Sports. Thank you. Okay, thank you.